All right, so for today's video, we got the top 10 Bleach moments. Now, I know that Bleach is a very popular anime. I haven't watched anything of Bleach. The only thing I know about Bleach is pretty, it's a pretty disrespectful scene. I think I reacted to it, but this scene is from, I don't know the character's name, but someone brought a shovel to a fight and they ended up burying whoever they were fighting, which was pretty insane. And that already set the tone for me. And also there was another scene of someone who stopped someone's special attack and also his music stopped at the same time it was just insane it was a really funny and cool scene to see and those are the only two things that i know and also i think uh the voice actor of one of the villains i think i saw a tiktok about him and oh my god that guy's voice was just insane so those are the couple of things that i know about bleach but yeah we're gonna take a look at bleach the top 10 moments uh, of bleach uh, it's a pretty popular anime, I, I, that's what I do know about it, and I think there's like a special thing going on right now from Bleach. Uh, probably won't end up watching it, maybe in the near future, who knows, but not at the moment, uh, I'm too busy with different type of anime. But yeah, we're gonna take a look at this video, if you guys are new to the channel, feel free to like, subscribe, let me know what you guys wanna see. Been away for a while, but we're back now with daily uploads, so yeah, let's jump into this video. Unique flair and swagger with... In contrast to its shonen jump peers, Bleach brought about a unique flair and swagger with its mature art, themes and characters. Starring teens and set in a world not too different from our own, Bleach aesthetically set itself apart from its contemporaries such as Naruto while attracting a huge fan base. The anime series made waves all over the world, firmly establishing itself Yo, as one of sick. the pillars of shonen anime back in the early mid 2000s. With it ending almost this, a decade ago, I'm not sure if many people still have fond memories of memories of the show and that's precisely what this video is for why don't we take a trip down memory lane and take a look at some of the top moments in bleach's storied history okay ichigo It's a strong and powerful oh. image that fittingly kicks off this epic supernatural adventure. Like Yo, this can say man. <laughs> and I think that also I think that this is the this is the guy. That uh that got his, his special move stopped and the home team is his even his team music got stopped. And I think that that's uh I don't know the name of the guy who did it, but it was in uh, it was in a video called uh, Most Disrespectful Moments in Anime History and I forgot his name but he stopped Ichigo's special moment and his team song. And that's the scene that I remember. That's kinda sick. That's the way he got his power. It's him. Next is Aizen battling the captains and wizards in fake Karakura town. Need more proof that Aizen is by far one of the most broken villains ever conceived in anime <laughs> I, history? I think Look it's no him. further from this whole sequence in fake Karakura town. After the united front of the Gote and the wizards finish taking care of business, it should be easy, right? Aizen's camps down to him and Gin, and he has a whole bunch of powerful opponents ready Yo. to gang up on him. The battle starts, and he easily dispatches a few captains. However, the numbers game would eventually catch up to him, and he finds himself finished off by Hitsugaya in poetic fashion. Hey, yo. Not when we let's let's get one thing straight. You under the let's take a look at this himself finished. Look how good this guy looks, man. Man's handsome as hell, and he's a villain. And also this little hair whopping on his face. Stop by Hitsugaya man. in poetic fashion. Not. When were you under the impression that Aizen can be done in by lowly captains and wizards that don't even comprehend his power? And he's only getting stronger and stronger as the Yo. battle rages on. He's a whole chat, this guy.
Orihime is the next moment, the one where she says goodbye to Ichigo. You see, Orihime's powers have put her in Aizen's sights. Aizen sends various forces to act as a diversion. The one who finally intercepts the girl is none other than his fourth espada, Okuyora. Threatened by Okuyora, Orihime agrees to go with him to Waco Mundo. However, for someone who's the embodiment of nihilism, the espada isn't as heartless after all. Instead of taking her straight to Aizen, Okuyora allows Orihime to say her farewells to one person without any Anyone else's knowledge. For Orihime, the choice is clear as day. Finding herself inside her choices room for the first time, she confesses her love to a sleeping Ichigo. In her confession, she tells him of her dreams and reaffirms her love for him. This is a dramatic scene that sets the stage for the next arc. The scene where Orihime can't bring herself to kiss Ichigo and the confession that follows remains, for me, one of the key scenes for this girl in the entirety of Bleach. You can't help but feel sad for her as she says her supposed last farewell. This whole scene is sad, alone is sad. Korose, Kamishini no Yari. Kisama! Mune ni ana ga ai te shinu ya. Honmo desu ya. In the seventh place is Gin's betrayal of Aizen. Talk about top 10 anime betrayals or what? For me, one of the moments that struck me as okay. I watched the end of the Aizen arc is the That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, after this video, I think the next one should be uh, top 10 betrayal moments in anime. Cause this is just the way he, the way he just told them you're gonna die with a hole in your heart was just sinister by itself. The scene where Gin pierces his sword right through Aizen's chest. He reveals the trick to playing around Kyoka Sugetsu as well as the true nature of his Bankai. It's here that Gin's true intentions are revealed. All this time he'd spent being by Aizen's side, establishing him as a close ally, everything is for the sole purpose of exacting revenge on this man for Rangiku's sake. How fitting that even his Bankai's name can be translated to God Killing Spear. It's I don't even Gin's know what a Bankai is. Destined to kill Aizen all along. But it sounds cool. All is for naught as Aizen revives almost immediately and puts a quick end to Gin's ambitions. Gin spends his last moments lamenting his failure and apologizing to Rangiku. On a more hopeful note, he lives long enough to see Ichigo emerge out of the Dangai. Upon seeing the fire of resolve in the teen's eyes, Gin finally dies knowing that he can leave the rest to Ichigo. Damn. Is this guy transforming? Oh! <laughs> Next up, it's Ichigo arriving at Yo, my man just smacked him in his face and took him up like, yeah, let's finish this fight somewhere else. Jesus Christ, man. Karakura Town to fight Aizen. Just as Aizen seems unstoppable and all hope seems lost, out of the Dangai comes none other than Ichigo. Gone is the hesitant youth with shaky resolve and the Ichigo that wavered against Gin's relentless assault. Yo, Thanks to the time him. he trained inside the Dangai, Ichigo stands before Aizen, a completely mature and confident combatant. One doesn't have to look anywhere but his appearance to see proof of a man who's been through. Even I said that I haven't even watched this anime and I just like a couple seconds ago I looked, I was like, this guy looks insane compared to how he looked looked like when he first got his powers. Hell and back. Thanks to the training, Ichigo has transcended his limits far beyond what Aizen has become. To further this point, Ichigo simply grabs Aizen and throws him down in order to have a fight where the two of them wouldn't be interrupted. One does not simply manhandle Aizen Yo. like that. It's finally time for the final showdown. Yo, I'm here to dabble into this anime, man. Yo, yo, this, those characters look insane, man. Number five is, of course, the final the Getsuga Ten show. The battle against Aizen's been going well so far. Breaking enhanced Kido with his arm, check. Destroying the landscape with a swing of his sword, check. To cap it off, he also returns a year-long favor to Aizen by stopping Aizen's sword with his hand. With Aizen really- He did it twice. This guy, this guy is a cheat code. Holy shit, like, the first video I saw was a different one, where he just stopped it with his, like, with his two fingers. And now he did it again. I thought he was gonna die after this battle.
Shaking and shaking in disbelief, Ichigo decides that it's time to finish the fight once and for all. It's here that he unveils the culmination of his Dangai trading, the final Getsuga Tensho. Oh. In terms of hype, nothing really compares to seeing Ichigo with an ominous aura and sleek new attire in his bid to finally defeat the oh, overpowered shit. villain in anime. His finisher, him. is especially important because it's a move that eliminates the last traces of his Shinigami <laughs> power once he's used it. It's truly an all or nothing attack that seeks to end Aizen before the latter can continue evolving past Ichigo's power level. Ichigo. Yo. Yo, Aizen is the freaking cheat code, bro. Easily taking the fourth spot on this list is Ichigo interrupting Rukia's execution. Talk about coming in the nick of time. Right as Rukia is about to be executed, Ichigo saves the day by stepping between the giant fiery phoenix and Rukia. Pandemonium follows for Soul Society's forces. Two senior captains who've had their suspicions make their move, disabling the Sokyoku and confronting head captain Yamamoto. More importantly, Ichigo succeeds in doing the thing that he set off to do rescuing Rukia. After leaving Rukia in Renji's care and easily defeating the vice captains, all that's left for Ichigo is his date with destiny. Yo, Aizen is on another level, man. Damn! <laughs> For our third moment, Ichigo versus Byakuya's a shoe in What makes the Ichigo versus Byakuya fight so great, you ask? It's important to note that this fight happened way before character powers went over the top and fights oh, started becoming okay. predictable reveal fests where the one who runs out of new powers loses. What we have here is a fight that pits two of the key players in the story together, letting them face off in a clean one-on-one -on -one fight with everything on the line. Ichigo had just saved Rukia in one chain of badass moments. Meanwhile, Byakuya was never overhyped like Aizen, but he's considered a very powerful opponent and is fresh off making mincemeat yo vice captain that just he's moving man. more than a battle of strength this fight is also a clash of ideals ichigo and byakuya's fight at the end of the soul society arc would go down as one if not the best fight in bleach history the action is back and forth with ichigo showcasing his new bankai that lived up to the hype and knocked the proud captain down a peg <laughs> <laughs> Damn. There goes your crystals. Omaeva. Dareta. Ichigo's full hollow transformation finds its way to the second spot on the list. Throughout most of the Waco Mundo arc, Ichigo's Ooh. done a pretty good part in playing the underdog. The final fight against Okiora in particular showed how outmatched and outclassed Ichigo is. A dramatic moment in that fight is when Orihime and Ishida chase after the two combatants, only to be greeted with the sight of Yo, you guys hear this music? the finishing blow to our protagonist, blasting a hole through his chest. Hearing Orihime's cries of despair and suffering awaken within the classically built Ichigo, he shrieks hollow. Now taking over the host's body, the hollow turns the tables and destroys Okiora in one killing sequence of events. Even his secret technique gets brushed aside by this incredible force that aims to destroy everything in sight. It's so... Is Ichigo like unkillable at this point? Like, my man has a, has a big ass hole in his heart and he's still fighting. Unleashed hollow Ichigo can do, look no further from the episode featuring this scene. Ooh. Aizen's iconic reveal as a traitor to Soul Society takes number one on this list. Did you get caught off guard by this before? 
A lot of us sure did. After spending most of the solstice, look how Ison looked like it, right? Wait, dead. I want to see his Aizen face. turns again. up near the end of the arc to the shock of everyone. For so long, Gin's been the one that's been set up as the orchestrator of the arc's events. Kubo had other ideas, and Gin ends up being just a co-conspirator all along. To demonstrate his power, Aizen wastes no time mowing through two captains. Bankai Hitsugaya and Bankai Komamura both fall to him in one hit. And so he finally finds himself face to face with Ichigo and Renji. The fight goes as well as you'd expect. After extracting the Hogyoku from Rukia, Aizen gets forced. That's the scene. That's the scene where he stopped the sword of Ichigo. Like, look how my man looks like a nerd, right? And watch what happened. Along he just slicks his hair back. He leaves for Waco broke his glasses. And that's the last we saw of the gentle, bespectacled. And now my man looks like a freaking uh, model of uh, a Victoria's Secret model. Oh, not even Victoria's Secret. Like, uh, I don't freaking know. Jesus Christ, man, this guy. Captain Aizen and Ichigo's theme. Seriously, man, we went from a zero to a hundred. Serves me right. That's really the last time we hear the vocal version of number one. Guess Aizen killed the singer off too. Yeah, this is the scene. He stopped it with a freaking finger. I saw this one. Even the music stopped. And that's a wrap. But honestly, I feel that I'm not done talking about Bleach. Throughout its decade plus run, Bleach had its share of ups and decade, downs, but down. it definitely has no shortage of iconic and epic moments. 10 entries just doesn't cut it for this because this anime has so much more to offer. I think there's a lot more we need video. to see from would this you anime. Would you see a part two of this or would you like to see a top 10 Bleach fights video? I want to see If this video boat. gets 5,000 likes, I'll definitely consider it. If you're interested in seeing more anime goodness, please take the time to like and subscribe to Vinny Chu. Yo, that video was just a banger from like this video was just insane i really enjoyed this video and i know bleach is pretty pretty popular and i know a lot of people have been talking about it and yeah i did watch a couple of things that will spoil it for me but it's not like i'm gonna go watch the anime like in, in between in like a week or something but yo this anime i'm not gonna lie ichigo just now that i know what to expect from him but Aizen, in, Aizen himself, the scene, the scene alone where he stops his sword with a finger was enough for me to be like. And he looked like a nerd, slicked his hair back, broke his glasses, looked like a model, looks like a model instantly. Like this guy, also the fight between him and Ichigo looks like is it was one of the craziest fight ever in this show. But I, I still need to, I still, I'm still gonna watch this show. Not now, of course, but in the near future, maybe next year or something. Because uh, I'm pretty interesting to see. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I definitely was surprised. Didn't expect a lot of cool things in this anime. I know it was a popular anime. But I, I only saw. I, I don't know if Bleach. I don't know if, if someone got buried in Bleach. Maybe it was a different. I said it in the beginning. But I'm now that I'm thinking about it. I think it's another anime. That someone brought a, a shovel to a, to a fight. I don't know. Could be. Could be Bleach. Could be a different anime. But either way, I enjoy this anime. It's really insane. And I had a lot of fun watching this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know what other videos you guys want to see. I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. Take care and peace.